All right, good evening, everyone. Uh, well, here we are with the ninth episode of the Knock Legacy for Cultus Simulator. My name is System Chalk. We are in the final three seconds of the Suppression Bureau's investigation into Harold Davidson. Um, so I've been holding off on this. We've already got our, you know, our um, reputation generating activities lined up. So in 13.3 seconds, we're going to have either a reason or a passion consumed and we will gain a new mentor or a new, um, uh, a new acquaintance. <clears throat> this is good uh, because I do want to sort of swell the ranks of my, you know, of my followers and, and just generally be able to do a bit more. But the big difference here is that it's not going to be feeding this perpetual investigation. Once I get some passion again, I'm going to um, start going back through the wood and see if we can maybe get a few, <clears throat> uh, see if we can get a few more um, secret histories. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I would like to finish reading all of the lore, um, but we do have an opportunity with our vitality now, so I'm going to be going out for some more walks. I'll be helping uh, maintain the parish's grounds, and I'll otherwise be, uh, I don't know, picking up heavy things and putting them down again. Those are going to be the next few turns for us. I call them turns. I should just... I don't call them sessions or that. Uh, we are already currently in a season of despair, so dark days. I must be careful not to let doubts creep in. I believe uh, you cannot have one trigger after the other, so in 30 seconds we'll be fine. Um, this, of course, you know, focus on vitality is not because we have the on the white, but that's certainly a consideration because a dread may potentially provoke a... Um, sorry, a dr dread can potentially come out of uh, winter texts or winter text may provoke dread. So it's good to kind of keep the um, the moods that you'll have in mind. Uh, we're a bit lucky here in the sense that if I get another acquaintance coming up, I'll be able to use the dread in a recruitment. Um, that's always true, uh, but in this case, it does actually, it's a necessary, or dread isn't a necessary ingredient, but it does have a necessary aspect. So it's uh, particularly, appropriate. I don't know, I tend to find people struggle with dread, so it's actually one of the reasons why I think the Church of the Bright Edge can sometimes be a good choice. Moving on, though, uh, let's carry all that I am is here. So there's the possibility we'll generate fascination out of this. That would be another use for any um, dread we generate. Sorry, that would be dread coming from on the white. This is something special. It may provoke a reaction. Okay, looks like we've got, a me we've got another mentor coming up. Oh... That's such a shame. I was not anticipating. Nope, you know what? That's that's fair. I, I just uh, misjudged the timing. So that's a stumble, but not a not one that uh, it, that's not going to be a long term one. I didn't need the money, so uh, no staleness. So yeah, unlucky for me. I can go to the wood, though. So we're going to go away to the woods. I want to be a bit careful. I'm not going to go, uh, I'm not going to do the sermon because there's always the danger that will generate notoriety from that. But uh, we will... Keep an eye on things. Um, I thought we had a season of, amb of ambition. No, wait, hang on. That was the painting I made. Sorry, wasn't paying attention. Um, so yeah, unlucky, but we've got enough funds to get us through the remaining little bits of the investigation. Actually, it did occur to me that we'll be generating another mystique uh, in a little bit too. So we've got... I may need to generate money. Well, I suppose in the worst case scenario, I can actually sell off the collection of poetry now that I think of it. All right, Dr. Adeem. So I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna try and get a commission out of this. Um, the restlessness wouldn't be bad, but I don't wanna paint quite yet. So <clears throat> let's go back to the well. Furt of truth, a detail smuggled in from an adjacent narrative. Don't speak where this may be overheard. The velvet is strong at the well in the wood, where the velvet is the hour that keeps secrets, but now and then she lets a little secret fall like a crumb at a feast. Last night I found the moss-clad rock written all around with the secrets of another history. I might give thanks to the velvet, but it would be wiser not to draw her attention. Okay. So. 
42 seconds plus the 60 seconds when they're doing the investigation. But we can ask for a commission from Dr. Adim. Dr. Ibn al Adim, called the Alapine, has an interest in overlooked history. He could use your assistance. The doctor would like help with his research. So with luck, it will be a, a sort of an easy to fulfill um, commission. The reason I say with luck, uh, it just gives me something to do with the work slot. He would like a very substantial commission on the secret history, so not quite within my abilities. Dr. Ibn al Adim called the Alapine, has offered you a commission. He's looking for a particularly obscure information on, on the secret histories of the world. So we need a level 6 lore, which we can't access through normal means. However, if I use the study verb, I may be able to level up the furtive truth. In this case, I just need uh, erudition or an HQ with a library. And we can obtain... Uh, one is easier to obtain than the other. But... Um, Again, if I had my study verb available, I, you know, I'd be doing other things with it. So let's go back to the wood. Uh, if I have enough passion, I can walk the dream road to the wood. If I have the right knowledge, I might be able to find the way beyond it. Now I pass between scarbark trees. The moon passes behind branches, though her fingers remain in my hair. I'm stumbling over roots now. It is tempting to drop to all fours to avoid the low branches. Pale wings move deep in the night. So again, I gotta be a little more mindful of my talk. I do want to use the um, I do want to use the lore if I can. I am gonna use the um, explore verb a bit differently. So as much as I would love to have some vitality running, I do want to use Orflam's auction house to sell off my collections of poetry. This oddity is probably worth something, but it's hard to be sure. We should be able to recover our finances um, in a little bit, but again, all of the things that will generate uh, sort of excess finance or excess funds are the sorts of things that will uh, have reputational considerations. I've neglected my studies, but I stand a little straighter. So we're going to keep doing that for a little while. We do need three of them. So again, I'm not feeling incredibly confident about our ability to pull this off, but I, I should give it a try. Okay, with 50 seconds, we can now talk about the occult scrap. The auctioneer's gavel bangs. My item is sold. The reason I'm doing this right now is just to avoid... Um, so again, I'm being... Oh! A bit premature. We perch on alarming Reetvelt chairs in a windowless auction room with vividly burnt orange walls, waiting for the auctioneer to announce what he's offering. The reek of new paint makes the brain spin. So this is a bit dangerous here because I believe you lose the item. Okay, Gartside Sanskrit Reader. There are other ways of obtaining this. I'm going to put in a bit. I walked in the wood last night and the scissors worked in the distance and furred things crammed my mouth and swarmed my ears. And I felt the old urge to drop to wolf fours and nose among the roots. But I remembered that I walk upright by day, and I know fire and steel and words, and at last I found whether Velvet had concealed a secret on tree bark beneath moss. I read it then with the tips of my fingers, and I think now that I could write it in full. So once again, we'll go back to the wood, use our passion. And what I'm going to do here, because there's only 28 seconds left on the investigation, I'm going to use my passion. This is going to be so that I can do a, a sort of a faster service and we will not put a dark uh, doctor in it. It would be nice to generate. Actually, you know what? Yeah, we can afford to generate the fervor. So, but I'll only use a red secret here. We'll not use the waking. Ah, you know what? We'll use the waking man. <laughs> I will speak to their souls. And if I, uh, and if I speak with conviction, their souls may answer me. I just want to double check that it's the, yeah, it's the same text if you could. So we get 10 seconds. Did I say 40 seconds? Anyways, we get 10 seconds off if we do a passion, a passionate um, sermon. Mirrors are calm. The sun is steady. The glory recedes. I'm saying if that means anything. No fascination drives your visions. It's over for now. Um, the reason why I ultimately decided for the heart was, of course, I'm looking for uh, events that'll trigger the course of the heart. So Another bitter curses. Um, I have no way of generating cash. 
Perils of renown. My mystique has attracted the hunter's attention. Uh, they can prove nothing yet, but they'll keep looking longer for now. Wait a minute. I thought I was out of this. This could turn bad if this generates a notoriety. House of the Sun, the dance of the angels of glory does not cease. Those who were cast down, wave or wound or snow, are gone from this house, and as long as their parts in the dance are filled, they may never return. Therefore, let us join hands and add our little steps to the dance. So we definitely got the fervor and the exaltation. So I've got funds, of course, instead of paying the rent, I'm going to put it <laughs> back into the, the auction. Um, the question is, how brave am I? Very brave. They provide upon a secret doctrine before a fervent congregation. The congregation is already in a state of excitement. Any secret knowledge will almost certainly drive them to exaltation. Sometimes my words and those I have borrowed move my congregation beyond mere concentration to exaltation. So I better hope this doesn't generate notoriety. <laughs> wow, another bitter. Three on the Sanskrit reader seems like a bit much. I'm going to take this peculiar rumor to the wood. This does mean that I... Or this peculiar rumor, I'm... Oh, man, I forgot to study my vitality um, I'm going to wait as long as I can before I use it though while I was returning to the depths one appeared in front of my eyes whose mouth was sealed when I saw them in the great emptiness I cried out I think that I uh, sorry I think that last night I met another soul in the wood I will never recall exactly what we said one to another but I think that we will recognize each other in the waking world I gotta wait at least the 20, well, 28 seconds, um, just to make sure. I really let the run get away with me, uh, again, so. It all comes down to the exaltation. As yet, I have only the needs and desires. Ah, okay, it's a mystique. Good. We'll get another mystique. Uh, so it does mean that the um, it does mean that the dread is going to. Uh, uh, sorry, the peculiar rumor is not going to be workable. But our devotion is drawn comment. The auction's over. The lot has gone elsewhere. I retain my funds. So I'm going to have to put a little effort into getting. Um, the Sanskrit reader back, but nope. uh, I got to think about what I want to do with Explore. Let's get Clovet working on that again. So once again, we've got a minute going by where I want to mine my manners. We are going to get a mystique out of this, so that's two minutes. Okay, Course of the Hearts, welcome. Last, their fervor is spent. What have they made of this night? I did need the money. I don't necessarily need it now. So again, there's the danger of this exaltation, but we'll uh, we'll hope for the best. And we have yet another hanger on. So that's going to be. Um, so yeah, I got it in the wrong order. So I'm going to do something a little weird here. I'm actually just going to use this passion and I'm going to annihilate this yearning this way. Now let's think about the talk verb. I think at this case, 47 seconds. I'm going to do something a little unusual. Uh, oh, um, okay. No, we'll bring in the uh, hanger on then. 
<laughs> I wanted to do something with Clovet, but not quite ready for that. Lord Percival Stab prepared the path, but I am the path. I could alter the forms that have been established. Again, we haven't quite decided. <laughs> this one is ready. Uh, let's get Clovat out on another investigation. Neglected my studies, but I stand a little straighter. So let's make the most that we've got with our existing vitality. I think I'm short one still. Let's try the Temple of the Wheel this time. A subtle flaw. Laces and coil. Windows swing open. Locks move as if oiled. Last night I came in the wood to the high jagged rock called the Temple of the Wheel. Its flank, patched with black lichen and eye signs, opened like a mouth beneath my hands, and I walked in the whispering space within. The gods who were stone, the first of the hours, are almost all gone now, but here their voices remain. Wheel, flint, tide, and others without names. Again, no real reason uh, not to keep hammering away at the the dream. Some days are better than others. Some days the sky is nothing like a filthy sheet. Sometimes the river runs clear. Got a season of sickness coming up, so I'm going to need vitality for other reasons. So we're... I think I'm going to need three more vitality when all is said and done, because this is going to decay into a... Ah, nice. The congregation has donated generously, and they haven't limited those donations to the collection plate. Okay, things are starting to look up. My own heart pumps more strongly today, so it's going to take us 50 seconds to get a lesson learned here. That'll move down to 20, so even if I want to combine the vitality like this, uh, it's, this is going to decay, so I'm, I'm still going to have two, um, two vitality by the end, which again is why we'll send out Clovet and, and whatnot. Before they speak the words, the novice must sharpen their knife so it can separate a drifting thread. And it be not sharp enough, it will be the worse for them. Uh, so again, I'll be a little more mindful of my reputation, at least until the painting's done. Okay. So a minute without generating reputation and we're out of the... Well, we're not out of the woods. In fact, we want to go into the woods, but um, we won't have to worry about the Suppression Bureau. I finish my painting to the excitement of absolutely no one. No one but me. Sometimes painting will gain you glimmerings. Study them to unlock more advanced painting options. Okay. <clears throat> so if it's 44 seconds... I'm just getting the timings here right. So to my understanding, there is nothing that will generate reputation for us now. So, back to the appointment at the Quiet Parish. We'll go back to the classics. We'll improvise a sermon on heart. I'll speak to their souls, and if I speak with conviction, their souls may answer me. 50 seconds there, and we will talk about the occult scrap in order to draw more attention to our, our efforts. Okay, another course of the heart. That's just what the doctor ordered. I'm ready to grow stronger. Um, okay, I just want to think a little bit about it. So we're going to generate a fight. So let's say one of these vitality goes in here. So we've got one here. Need to combine these. Okay, cancel that. Got these. I need one more vitality. So... Long walks kill cobwebs. Crowded thoroughfares by day, a fog wrap labyrinth by night. I'll send my minions to searching for opportunities. Oh god, I scrap. I walked in the wood last night, and the scissors worked in the distance, and the furred things crammed my mouth and swarmed my ears, and I felt an old urge to drop to wolf fours and nose among the roots. 
but I remembered that I walk upright by day and that I know fire and steel and words, and at last I found where the velvet had concealed a secret on tree bark beneath moss. I read it then with the tips of my fingers, and I think now that I could write it in full. So eventually I'll start exploring with these scraps, but we're not quite there yet. We'll leave the dream slot open so that I can uh, deal with the affliction when the time comes. Might have found somewhere unusual. Again, kind of spamming Clovet just because of the chance to generate a course, course of the heart. And an experienced swindler would have been helpful if we did generate, um, if we did generate a notoriety, but we didn't. So lucky me. If a hunter has found notoriety, they will try to use it to create or upgrade evidence. If they're meticulous, they'll always succeed. If they're erratic, they're more likely to fail, but they can occasionally create evidence even without notoriety. So I don't think it's ever expli explicitly mentioned, but it appears that the weary detective has sort of the feature of erratic in the sense that they can sometimes fail to generate evidence, but um, they there's never the situation where they make evidence out of nothing. Um, I don't know if that's exclusive to the weary detective or if I've just gotten, I, this is one of the problems, right? Is that if, unless you actually go in and see how the game is built, these kinds of statements are always going to be based on your experience. And the fact of the matter is, is I, you know, the probabilities tend to be set to fairly fixed intervals. Um, so you'll notice, you can kind of see the gradients in the text but in in practice, you know, I, I think unless you're really, really focusing and, you know, you maybe aren't paying attention to all the other interesting things on offer. Um, I just think an individual player is not likely to be able to have enough experience to say, you know, I've I've observed everything. Uh, and again, personally, for me, I like you know, living in the world rather than um, spending all the time thinking about how the cards work. So tonight they listen, but they do not hear. If you use reason, yeah, no, we'll leave that be. I was just thinking if I wanted to do anything painting wise, but in this case, I don't think there's anything wrong with just going back to the, going back to heart. Speak to their souls and I will speak uh, with conviction. Yeah. Sorry, if I speak with conviction, their souls may answer me. Season of Ambitions coming up, so that will be a time where I want to use the, uh, the painting. Come with me. So that's going to be another follower when the when all is said and done. We can, of course, afford this now because we've got um, we've got the investigation properly wrapping up, and I'll take the time to combine with this vitality. So again, one. Uh, lesson learnt, and then a second. I'm safe for now. My adversary has not enough evidence to bring a case against me, and they found no new clues. And yet another course of the heart, stemming from our <laughs> our efforts to generate hearts. That's always nice. I've neglected my studies, but I stand a little straighter. So as long as I time these correctly, I'm actually I'm gonna system chalk proof this. There we go. No, no way I'm going to use the, the new elements. So, of course, now we want to be generating a little bit of reputation so that we can, um, we can make the most of the painting. So I don't mind giving this a little bit of time. We're going to be finishing the sermon anyway. Okay. Tonight they listen, but they do not hear. I'm curious if it has a, I don't think it has something related, to, or like staleness, but I am curious if you use the same doctrines over and over again, if you get uh, less, um, there's less of a chance of exaltation. Or it could be that this game is a massive troll, <laughs> and after giving me uh, sort of unwanted exaltations, it decides that now is the time to be a little more stingy. Uh, so with 49 seconds on this, I can't get away with uh, another sermon. So in this case, we're just going to wait it out 
and I will get the reputation from the acquaintance. Okay, so we don't have quite the same need to send Clovet out um, to explore. I think there should be... But then again, I don't need to worry too much about reputation either. So perhaps what I... There is something to be said for queuing up some of the vaults, although I don't think we're in a position to do a summoning yet. Mind you, that doesn't stop me from bringing the existing members. I'm just trying to think of the way I want to use the Explorer verb at the moment. Um, I mean, technically, there's no reason why I couldn't just try and go for that last level of... Yeah, you know what? Let's go for that last level of strength. I know it's a little boring, but um, we're on a bit of a roll here, so... And we only got to wait with the work slot. Okay. Not the best option for me right now. Lots of hangers on. That's a bit of a shame. So painting-wise, I don't really see any other options here. So let's just grab our... Our three passion and a mystique and get to work. And let's talk about the occult scrap to try and bring some more people in. So now we're swelling the ranks. Uh, even if I just have a lot of like low level uh, followers, we can still start doing some expeditions, but I am going to definitely need more bodies when it comes down to it. You're kidding me. I should have paid attention. All right, well, <laughs> I guess I need to mind my manners again. Good news is I'm not actually, I'm not that committed to too many mischievous deeds, so. Um, I think I'm okay not paying for the paints. Although I don't know why I'm not going back to the wood. The world goes away. So again, there'll be mystique either through uh, what the input or through finishing the painting. Oh, did we dodge it? Yep, Planters found notoriety. They will try to use it to create or upgrade evidence. So we we made it. All right, whenever the principle of the heart is implicated, I may gain vitality. So this explore effort's really paying off. We got a bit lucky as far as the mystique is concerned. And no staleness. Cool, so we're back up to the funds that I wanted before. I'm gonna do a pure reputation painting here. Again, the aim here is to try and make a little cash. So let's do a painting of... I don't have any more heart followers, but I can do a painting of vitality. Again, anything to try and generate the course of the heart. I found someone who may be a kindred spirit, but I'll need to win them over. Okay, once again we send Clovat out to explore, mostly to generate the potential course of the heart, but... Alright, so we've got our three for the hardened physique, so just lock these away. Stronger yet, I will grow stronger yet. I'm safe for now. My adversary has not enough evidence to bring a case against me, and they've found no new clues. So I want to be careful of any dread, but we don't have any activities that are really going to be generating dread over the next little while coming up, so... I'm just going to be trying to generate vitality wherever I can. Special, it may provoke a reaction. All right, I'm going to risk a peculiar room here. Um, I can explore with it. While I was returning to the depths, one appeared in front of my eyes whose mouth was sealed. When I saw them in, uh, the great em sorry, in the great emptiness, I cried out. I think that last night I met another soul in the wood. I will never recall exactly what we said one to another, but I think that we will recognize each other in the waking world. 
So this is because I don't have a Season of Suspicion coming up and Notoriety is a little bit better for generating um, generating income from painting. So we've got Vitality back, we've got Mystique, Glimmering, which I'm not going to use. Contentment's never, never something I'll say no to. I mean, we didn't do that great as far as income is concerned, but we didn't generate staleness, so I suppose that's a benefit. <clears throat> Uh, I am going to paint with the Vitality again, I think. Uh, let's actually do a Sermon first, though. Oh, I need to wait 11 seconds for the Passion. Passionate sermon on heart. I will speak to their souls, and if I speak with conviction, their souls may uh, answer me. So again, this is just another way to potentially generate the course of the heart. I'm not going to paint with a uh, heart because that does generate notoriety. And while I don't mind generating notoriety uh, if it serves a purpose, I don't necessarily want to do it for the sake of doing it. And we have got Dorothy the Acquaintance. So good news there. Let's go talk about the occult scrap again. Well, actually... Let's bring Dorothy in, because if we have two heart followers running around, that's going to be pretty good for my... That's going to be pretty good for my, my rotation I've got going here. So, Dorothy is an enthusiastic sort with an eclectic reading habit. She's fascinated by my hints about the shapes beneath the world's skin. And we will use the knife secret. This one is ready. as far as dread and fascinations coming up so I may want to be a little careful with my paintings but otherwise we should be safe and of course we'll have a fleeting reminiscence that comes from that as well I could carry a man across a river now or strangle him so steely physique there are many things now that I could crush in my fists so next one is four lessons learned this is by far the hardest one to achieve particularly because the um so normally when it comes to passion and um, so normally when it comes to passion and um, and uh, er and reason, you have the the books of essays and the books of poetry that you get from Moreland's to help you sort of on that on that journey on that um, that test. Um, if you want, so in my opinion, if you want to get to the top level of the physique as quickly as possible, what you generally want to do is uh, work at the construction. So this is purely regardless of, like, this is if you're ignoring the type of character that you want to play and any role-playing interests you might have. Uh, one of the things that you can do to get this reasonably quickly is in your work slot, uh, you use your health to go and work at the construction site. Uh, remembering that if you use your skill, um, the higher that skill is, the shorter it takes you on that work site. So one, your work, site, your work slot's going to be generating you some income. And on top of that, you'll get a vitality every time you go to the work site. I also believe using that skill will protect you from injuries. I, I, don't, I, think in the, I think it ceases to be probabilistic and you are guaranteed to avoid the industry, uh, uh, injury if you use the skill. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's how that works. <clears throat> As you can see, if you explore with a heart follower, you potentially generate the course of the heart. So as far as I can tell, that's really the only way that you could be generating heart from the explore verb. Now the talk verb, you have a few options available to you. Um, you could be using one of your heart followers to remove reputation. You could also use heart lore to try and entice people into your cult. So those are the two ways that I can do it. Obviously, if you are using uh, the heart cult, you're going to be using uh, aspect heart every time you do a recruitment as well. So that's something that can, uh, can help you out there. Now, the study verb, again, you've got a couple of options. If you are, as a, pretty much always the, as always the case, uh, if you're reading certain books, you may generate uh, vitality on its own. So Wrapped in the King was uh, sort of the thing that provoked this whole, whole run. Um, if you don't have a special book, um, studying with your health will 
be guaranteed to generate vitality. In addition, it also can provoke the course of the heart. So that's another example of, of something that you can um, that you can work with. And the dream slot's a little bit of the roll of the dice because it depends on what door you go through. So if you go through the white door, you need to use health to go through it, which means that, again, you have the potential for generating the cores of the heart. Alternatively, some of the different regions are going to generate um, different uh, influences. So if you get the heart influence, then that will decay into vitality. Um, it's hard to say that the dream slot has guarantees, and I don't think there is a combination where you can use heart to get into the mansus and also get a heart influence. I could be wrong in that because I don't, again, I don't have immediate uh, recall of all the details. But it's sort of your pick in terms of what sort of, um, you know, what sort of chance you want to work with. It does the white door have something useful that you want? Well, you probably want to just use your heart and hope you get the course of the heart. And if you just go into the mansus because you like hanging out in the mansus, um, I think you can actually get heart influence uh, from uh, just from going through the wood. So um, the risk of going through the wood, of course, is that with passion you may get old and happy far off things. So if you are not uh, in the mood to paint, um, keeping in mind you would probably want to be using your work slot to uh, pick up heavy things and put them down again as opposed to painting because the, influ uh, the um, inspiration you want to use for your painting would be your restlessness, which means you can't put, put a heart in there. Although, does restlessness have heart? I don't remember, because restlessness does have a different number of different aspects. Anyways, you get the idea, right? That is, if you, if you want uh, a heart follower exploring, working at the construction site, talking about heart lore, uh, studying your health, and then one of those options as far as the dream slot is concerned would be the way that you can maximize your vitality. Again, because I'm playing the priest, and I don't see this priest as someone who would go out and do manual labor, uh, I am declining to uh, sort of follow my own advice here. But if you've ever found that you're struggling to get the, um, the final level of the physique, uh, that's probably the way that you could maximize your chances of generating some vitality. I also did not realize how far off of the time it was, so hopefully that wasn't too much of a waste of your time. As always, I thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please consider uh, liking and leaving a comment on the video. Not only do I like reading the comments, but it does help me get noticed. And if you've been enjoying the series and have not yet hit subscribe, I'd love it if you do that too. Uh, otherwise, I will see you all tomorrow with another episode. Until then.